The Junior Scholars Programme is a programme for our students who are on a particularly academic pathway. They are showing excellent results in their studies, an intellectual curiosity and a love of learning that is so important in our school and one of the key Harrow values of courage as well. So our junior scholars are all in years six to nine and they are paired up with a senior scholar mentor as well to support them with their work. Following this, we have a year-long process of working together on different topics and different research papers to really further and deepen our understanding of things that might not be taught in the curriculum. I really love to watch math documentaries and once I found this video explaining the pattern between primes and so I got interested in this topic and decided to make it my research question. After this research, I gained lots of new knowledge about my topic and also learned a lot of new presentation techniques, for example, like gesture and being more confident in speaking. I choose this topic because I'm personally really interested in game development. I am quite familiar with these coding languages, so I thought it would be a good challenge for me to combine these together and create something that's truly wonderful. From this research, I found out that C-sharp is definitely a more utilitarian game language as basically it has everything you ever need into one of them. And the language itself is really good for making video games because of it is a compiled language and it generally runs faster. I chose this topic because I find life in the economy very interesting, that our economy relies on trust and life in the economy is a very big problem. What I found very interesting was the enormous amount of ways that lives affect the economy. There's a lot of ways it makes the problem even more severe. Because I found out the data that 90% of people is focused on the internet in daily life, but other 10% of people is focused on trading or other entertainment. Well, for this topic, I first read an article about Easterlin Paradox. I was interested about this topic and Easterlin Paradox is basically a paradox that your happiness will stop growing when the GDP reaches a certain point. I was curious why does your happiness stop growing when your GDP reaches that point. The difficulties was like summarizing a huge of essays online and also on books because we all notice that no plagiarism so we must summarize all of the facts and we should understand all of the context of the book so that is quite a challenge for me. One of my biggest difficulty is to research and put in the reference page and my mentor Nicholas helped me with that by introducing me the hyperlinks method which was really useful. I found out different information that I don't know before. For example, in the uh, history of music in the Baroque and Renaissance, what are some um, purposes of liturgical music? I think the Harrow attribute he demonstrated in most was facing challenges with determination because it takes a lot of effort and hard work to complete this huge research paper at such a young age, and I'm really proud of what he's achieved. I think the Junior Scholar Program is very beneficial to everyone that has joined. Both for us Senior Scholars to educate the Junior Scholars and for the Junior Scholars to research on an area that they are interested in. I think this research program gives them um, a very valuable experience of maybe producing a paper or um, just getting an in-depth research of something they're interested in. I saw them grow from like knowing nothing about this topic and then presenting this today and I feel like it's a really good opportunity for these junior scholars to present and research in advance because this is normally something that you would do in a higher level and it's really good for them to do this at a very young age.